Hi, boys and girls. Ready to ready for the read aloud? I am. Welcome to today's new session of read aloud. Today we're going to read shark bodies in our book Sharks. Yesterday we read where do sharks live, and we learned so much new information, and we also learned some new vocabulary words. You remember that? Excellent. So yesterday we learned that sharks live all over the world in many different seas and oceans. We also learned that. They live in deep parts, shallow parts, rocky parts. I mean, rocky parts where there's a lot of rocky shores, and where there are coral reefs. So all over the ocean and all over the seas, sharks are somewhere to be found. Today we're going to learn a little bit more about their body. So I remember in the book that we read last week, National Geographic Sharks, we learned some information about the shark's body. Now, as I read, I'm going to think about, hey, am I learning something new or am I learning to add on to what I already know? So let me get my sharks book. Here's our National Geographic sharks book. And remember when we read the, the section that looked like this? Yeah, so we learned about the shark's bodies, we learned about how their skin feels, we learned that they lose two teeth or a tooth, and the new one moves forward and replaces it. We learned that their body is made up out of cartilage, so it's easier for them to move around. Let's see if we'll learn something new to add on to what we already know, or it would just be a new addition to the information that we probably had no idea about. Let's read Shark bodies. A shark's body is perfectly designed for living in the water. That means their body is made for water, right? And living in there. Many sharks have a streamlined shape for fast swimming. Their bodies are thicker in the middle and taper, get more narrow, at the head and tail. So they're telling me that a shark's body is more thicker in the middle and as the the taper, which is like a long stream sh behind, like their from their front to their back, it gets more narrow, so smaller. Narrow means smaller at the head and at the tail. Sharks have many other body features that help them survive in the sea. Now, let's take a look at this diagram. This is a text feature the author has included. Not only did the author include include a big photo of a shark and I think that's a great white shark I'm not sure but guess what look at these long lines connected to information that means we need to read every single part jaws a shark can move its upper and lower jaw this helps it grab food the author is really pinpointing the different parts of the shark's body teeth different sharks have different kinds of teeth some examples on page 18. So if we go to page 18 and we want to learn more about their teeth, their teeth, that's where we'll go. Skin. A shark's skin is covered in millions of tiny teeth-like scales. Gills. This allows the shark to breathe. As the shark swims, water flows over its gills. Oxygen from the water passes into the shark's blood and is carried around its body. Wow, so these gills help the sharks to breathe. Water floats over its gills and oxygen from the water passes into the shark's blood and is carried around their whole body. So that helps them to breathe good on the water. Pectoral fins. These help the shark to steer through the water. So I'm, I'm, I'm predicting that most sharks have pectoral fins to help them steer and glide through the water. Tail. The tail powers the shark through the water. So this is another force that helps the shark to move and glide through water easily. Dorsal fin. This helps the shark keep upright and balance in the water. So now I'm going to jot what this diagram the author has showed me helps me to learn. Okay. So I'm going to put in this diagram. I am learning the different parts of a shark's body 
and its function. Function means how it works. Okay. And I'm going to put that how it works. Okay. I'm also learning how important each body part helps the shark to survive under water. Very important, right? So this diagram helped me not only to learn different parts of the shark's body and how it works, but it also helps me to learn how the shark survive underwater and what makes it easier for them to survive. Now, I'm not done reading. The author also included uh, some information here. So she showed me a picture and next to that picture is a caption. Anytime you see a small picture, always read the paragraph of the words directly next to it. It will help you to learn more information. Did you know if you rub a shark skin from back to front, it feels very rough. People once used shark skin as sandpaper. This photo shows the scales on a shark's skin close up. Wow, so I think I want to jot about that. This caption helped me to learn. What did this caption help you to learn? Take a minute and think about it. What did this caption help you to learn? Go, think about it. Got 20 more seconds. All right, so this caption helped us to learn what? Yes, how a shark's skin feels and the photo helps me to learn what the shark's skin looks like. Excellent. What the shark's skin looks like up close, right? Wonderful. Notice how I'm jotting. And these are the same type of jots or information you can include in your reading responses. Okay, so I'm going to put out, post it over here. Now I'm going to take a look at this section. Many fish have hard bones, but a shark does not. Who remembers? Yes, its skeleton is made from rubbery cartilage. This makes the shark's body very flexible as it swims. So just like your ear is made out of cartilage, it's easy to bend, right? So the same thing for a shark's body. It is made out of cartilage, so it's easier for them to swim and glide underwater and actually catch their prey swiftly, right? So now I wanna take a moment to think about what is the main idea of this whole entire section? What is the main idea of this whole entire section? Take about two minutes to think about this. Basically, what did you just learn that was very important? One more minute and we're gonna jot it down. And then we're gonna use two details to support, just like you do in your reading responses. All right, are we ready? All right, so the main idea of this section is all about the sh sharks, a shark's body and how their body helps them to survive and live under water. Now I gotta think about one detail. One detail is, let's take a look. Where can we, we can come, we can take it from here, right? One detail is,
a shark's skeleton is made from rubbery cartilage which helps them to be very flexible as they swim. Another detail is, let's see if we could take some information from here. Yes, their body, a shark's body, is thicker in the middle and more narrow at the head and tail, which what? Helps them to survive in the sea and where else do sharks live? And oceans, excellent. Wow, so we learned a lot of information today, boys and girls. Not only do we learn that the like different important parts of the shark's body, but we learn how each part of their body helps them to survive and live underwater, right? All right, boys and girls, as you read, I want you to do the same thing I'm doing in your readings. Think about what are important parts. Perhaps, how does the information connect? Okay. Alrighty, boys and girls. And always think about what the main idea is. And don't forget to include two important details. Alrighty. Have a good day, boys and girls. Bye.